How's it going everybody? Today we are going to be talking about a very important topic for business owners and company executives and that is professional liability insurance. This coverage is essential for protecting your business from potential lawsuits and claims related to the professional services that you provide. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Brian Gatowski. I'm an independent insurance agent based here in the state of Michigan, Metro Detroit specifically, and I work with businesses on their commercial insurance programs, as well as helping families and individuals with their personal insurance, their home, their auto insurance as well. My goal with this channel is to pass on a little bit of educational information to you so that you can make more informed decisions around your insurance, whether that's for yourself, your business, or your family. And overall, help answer any questions that you might have. So let's get into it. First, professional liability, also known as errors and omissions insurance, covers you against claims of negligence, mistakes, or failure to deliver a service as promised. This type of insurance is particularly important for businesses providing any sort of specialized services or providing advice. This includes folks like consultants, accountants, attorneys, engineers, and any service providers that act in any sort of advisor capacity. The major exposure here are claims from clients who believe your service caused them a financial loss or failed to meet expectations. Now let's look at the top five aspects of professional liability insurance. First is the coverage scope. This insurance will cover legal defense costs and potential settlements and judgment costs if you are found liable. This is crucial because legal fees alone can have a significant financial impact. Second is that most professional liability policies will be on a claims made basis. This means they cover claims made during the policy period, no matter when the incident occurred. So it is important to make sure that your policy stays active and continuously renews to make sure that you have coverage. Next is the retroactive date. This is the date from which your coverage starts. So any claims coming from incidents before that date won't be covered. So it is important to make sure that that retroactive date aligns with when your business operations did start. Then it is important to note the overall or aggregate policy limit. This is the maximum amount the insurance company will pay for a single claim and in the policy period as a whole. So make sure to assess your business risk and exposures so that you are selecting an appropriate limit. And then next is exclusions. Be aware of what is and what is not covered in a professional liability insurance policy. Some common exclusions might be fraudulent acts, bodily injury, property damage, and even patent infringement. So it is important to note these exclusions can be on your professional liability policies. Some recommendations when purchasing or renewing a policy, first should be obvious and that is to review your coverage annually. Business operations are always changing, so it is important to make sure that your coverage is staying up to date and that you have enough coverage if you're businesses may be experiencing a lot of growth or something of that nature. Next is to understand your industry specific risks. Just as I mentioned exclusions before, certain industries you will want to try to get certain exclusions removed or endorsements added on for specific coverages. And then last is to work with a knowledgeable agent that can help tailor your coverage to your specific needs. And then finally, some common mistakes that we see when business owners are purchasing professional liability insurance. First is underestimating their exposures or risks, thinking that this won't happen to them or whatever it may be, and either not buying the coverage or not purchasing high enough limits. It is always good to err on the side of caution when assessing your business's risks. Next is gonna be ignoring policy details. Not fully understanding the policy terms, what's covered and what's not, what's excluded, can lead to surprises if there ever is a claim. And then last is choosing coverage based on price alone. Just like anything, while having a budget and being price conscious is important, 
choosing a policy solely based on price can usually lead to issues down the line. So that is an important thing to note as well. So overall, professional liability can be a great financial safety net and safeguard for your business to protect yourself against claims and lawsuits from these services you provide. So make sure that you understand your exposures, the key aspects of this coverage, and what to look for in your policy to make sure that you do have the proper coverage in place. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions about professional liability insurance, commercial insurance, in general, personal insurance, whatever it may be, I would love the opportunity to work with you and see if our team can help. There are a lot of ways to get a hold of me, and they should all be in the description below. Please feel free to text, call, email, reach out on social media, whatever is easiest. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to help out with them as well. So thank you again.